Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we are going to be making hook covers or pencil grips. They're basically the same design, one's just a bit longer. As you can see I have two examples here. This is a really easy and straightforward thing to make but the downside is it uses loads of bands. So make sure you have enough. Um, to make something about this size it uses around 145, so as you can see it won't come cheap, but I advise that you use like quite low quality bands because they're not going to be stretched that much, and if they snap at some point throughout the video, it's not the end of the world, so yeah, I've, I was doing it, I am using cheaper bands for this video. Okay, the other thing I need to note is that I'm going to be doing this on the rainbow loom. And on the rainbow loom, it, it can come apart into three sections. However, I know in, with other looms, it's not um, the case. It doesn't really matter, because we're only going to be using a tiny bit of it, and it's a little easier if you can remove the middle section of your loom, but however, not the end of the world, if you can't. Okay, we are now going to begin the tutorial. Okay, we're now going to do the bit when we lay the bands out. As I've mentioned already, if you can, remove the middle section of your loom. And as I've also said already, if you can't, it's not the end of the world. You need to set up your loom, again, if you can, in the configuration so they're all in line with each other, as to, like, not in line. Again, it doesn't really matter that much, but it's easier to do it like this. For this design, you only are going to use four pegs, so we're only going to use these four to do our design. Alright, the first thing we do is get a band, twist it in a figure of eight, and put it so it goes from here to here. We then get another band, twist it in a figure of eight, and put it from here to here. Then another, from here to here. And uh, the last one, from here to here. So this is a little like what we do when we first start making a fishtail. But obviously this is in four, as to just the one twist. You will notice that it's very similar to a fishtail as you go throughout the pattern. Remember, the way we're working is from here to here to here to here. Never change direction or it will go really wrong, trust me. Okay, we then get the next band from here to here and put it on without twisting it this time. Then we get another band from here to here again without twisting it, then a band from here to here and here to here. Okay, we're now going to put another set of four bands on. Again, from here to here, we put one without twisting. Like in a fishtail, the only one you twist is the bottom one for it to act as a cat band. Then another one from there to there, there to there, there to there. Okay, so this is the first step of our design. We're then going to begin the hooking. Do you see those two bands at the bottom? We're going to hook those over the top of this peg. With most designs, you pull them back and hook. With this one, we're just going to hook from the bottom here. Okay, so we get the bottom two bands and move them all the way over here and let go. Okay, there we are. You can pause the video at any time if you didn't quite catch that. You want to do it a bit more slowly or, you know, anything. Okay, we then go here. I'll try to do it so you can see. Get the next bottom two, so the two pale lilac ones in my case, hook them over and let go. Then, this is quite tricky to film, 
and try and hold it at a good angle. Then the next two purple ones, we lift over. Then we hook the last two purple ones and lift over. This is the basic principle of the design. So if you can do this, this will hopefully work for you. Then we push all these down, just to make it a bit simpler. Now, like a fishtail, we want three like layers. Well, it's kind of only two bands of each, but we want three kind of, you know, layers of each colour on each peg. So after, as we just take them one off, we put more on from here to here, here to here, here to here, and lastly, here to here. I bet you can probably guess already what we're going to do next. Hook the bottom two, this time deep purple bands, pull them back, lift them over the peg and let go. Now the two purple bands from here, over, let go. Now, sorry I'll just turn this a bit so I can see, no, sorry guys, this probably is a bad angle. It's just so I can do it. Yeah, it's more like moving the loom around a bit, so it might be quite hard to walk, to film, but yeah. Get them left over. Hopefully it'll be alright. Then we get the last two purples over and let go. Now we just repeat this again and again and again, and it will begin to work with our next colour. Yeah, making this, we weren't, I wasn't really planning to make it, but basically in our what shall we make next video, we had lots of comments on, you know, what you wanted us to make next, and I think the snake and the strawberry one, so we, I know I said we were uploading a, a video on the snake very soon, we have not done that yet unfortunately, but <clears throat> we will be doing that soon. Yeah, but basically this wasn't one of the options for us to make next. But we, but somebody phoned me, one of my friends, and asked me, can I do a video on this? So here we are, this is for you. And all our other viewers, of course.